Hey, hey, Demetra Davenport here, the massage doctor. Today I want to share some information with you guys. Sugar ain't sweet. If you have diabetes, sugar ain't sweet. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this video to you guys today is I personally know one of the people I'm going to tell you a story about. If you have diabetes, guys, you must listen to your primary care physician and or your um, podiatrist, okay? If you have um, any issues going on with your foot, um, it could be a little nick, a little cut. Again, guys, uh, all a little germ has to do is get in there and it will wreak havoc on that area and also on your body. Some of the things... Um, to let you know that you have a decubic ulcer is swelling, redness, an open lesion, cracks, sores, a foreign material that sticks to your foot, a pus, a odor, a discoloration, warm around the wound, um, again, a foul smell, a discharge seeping from the wound, pain or uh, pain or firmness when you touch or anything touches that wound, um, it will be... Uh, painful, very painful. Um, also, uh, a callus uh, is thick. It'll be, you'll have a, a callus skin. It'll be a, a thick thickness around the ulcer area. Also, you will have now this one you know is, is getting bad and it's getting serious. You have a fever and chills. Those are advanced stages of a foot ulcer. Um, also, a uh, serious symptoms of a foot ulcer is Wherever that sore is on your foot, it turns, the tissue turns black. The reason why that tissue turns black is because there is no blood going to that area. So there's no blood flow going to that area. So that's why it's turning black. And it also gangrene, little, those little germs can get in there and it causes you to have gangrene. Okay, here's the two stories I'm about to tell you about. Um, <clears throat> one person I know. The other person I don't know, but I know their family member. Okay, person number one. Uh, they were on my table about two weeks ago, guys. Two weeks. Two, two weeks. Two weeks ago, they were on my table. They have diabetes. Wouldn't stay off their feet. Wouldn't stay off their feet as their podiatrist instructs them to do. What happened? The person um, got a uh, the cubic ulcer on their toe. What happened? In two weeks, guys, it accelerated so fast. It accelerated so fast. The person toe, big toe, had to get cut off. Okay. Um, the second person, I know the family member of the person that passed. The second person passed away. Condolences again to my friend and her family. The person passed away, 30 years old, kept smoking, kept drinking, wouldn't do a proper diet. Sugar would just go so sky high, just going in and out of the hospital. Well, this particular time, she went to the hospital, God rest her soul, she did not come back. They gave her some pills, sent her on her way, I guess within 24 hours from the time she went to the hospital and came back home, you know, a family member found her dead. Guys, sugar ain't sweet. If you have diabetes, please, please, please listen to your doctors. They know what they're telling you. You know, you can't do what everybody else is doing. Uh, you can, but it's going to be a result of you losing your life and or getting a part of your body uh, getting amputated. Now, with the toes, when people start getting uh, toes or toe um, amputated, okay, it'll start with the big toe. Then it'll, they'll, then they'll come back because that germ, that um, uh, gangrene will spread to the other toes. They'll end up cutting off the next four toes, and then they'll come with the half of the foot. Then they'll move up where they're cutting the whole foot up. Gangrene is going to keep moving up until gangrene is going to stop. And or if they can't 
cut you anymore. Another true story. I know somebody that had an uncle that had gangrene. They kept amputating him. They amputated him all the way up to his hip. Uh, okay? Went back to the doctor. The gangrene has spread it throughout his body. He ended up passing away, guys. So make sure that you're doing what your doctors are asking you to do. Um, and also, when you have diabetes, um, you, a lot of people suffer from neuropathy. So you can get a decubitus also or a sore on your foot, a blister. And like I said, uh, the little germs will get in there and we have it on, your, on that area and on your foot. And you won't know it. Guys, if your doctors are telling you to stay off your foot, especially if you already have the cubic osteos on your feet, you must let those heal. So, like I said again, you're not getting a lot of blood flow to that area anyway, so you want to stay off of them and let that blood flow get to that area of those wounds so they can heal properly. If not, you will be a victim of amputation. Guys, I hope this information was very helpful to you guys. If you or someone you know that can benefit from this video, please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember, sugar ain't sweet. The massage starts to sign out. Love you. Bye.